Hi friends, welcome to Jaya Sarnath Academy. Today we are going to discuss about uh, further two problems of first bit of exercise 5.3 that is of quadratic questions, series third question in it that is of 5x square minus 7x minus 6 is equal to 0. We need to find out the uh, roots of this quadratic equation by using completing square method. So let's start that. Yes, let us start. In the comparing square method, firstly, we have to transport this constant term to other hand so that we get a 5x square minus 7x is equal to 6. Then, we need to make this quadratic equation into monic quadratic equation. To that, we need to divide this quadratic equation by 5 on both sides. That means, divide it by 5 on both sides so on dividing it by 5 on both sides this can be written as 5x square minus 7x by 5 is equal to 6 by 5 now this can be simplified as x square minus 7 by 5x is equal to 6 by 5. Now, in comparing square method, we need to write LHS part of this quadratic equation in the form of a square minus 2ab plus b square. As the second term is negative, we have to write this LHS in the form of this. So, to that, second term should be a multiple of 2. As there is no 2 in the second term, we have to multiply it second term. Only second term should be multiplied by 2 by 2 and that's everything you have to write as is. Then this we have to write in this form to that I am writing x square as well. x whole square minus 2 times of x into 2x square. That means these two have written then what are left? 7 by 5 to the 10, that means 7 by 10 is left, <coughs> is equal to 6 by 5. Now, it is in the form of a square minus 2ab, where a is x, a is x, and b is 7 by 10. To make this as a perfect square, we need to add b square, we need to add b square. Similarly, here also, to make this LHS as a perfect square, we need to add b square b square in a sense 7 by 10 whole square on both sides so that this can be written as x square minus 2x of 7 by 10 plus 7 by 10 whole square is equal to 6 by 5 plus 7 by 10 whole square now, if you observe this LHS, it is in the form of a square minus minus 2ab plus b square. So, this can be written as a minus b whole square. That means x minus 7 by 10 whole square is equal to 6 by 5 plus 49 by 100. Now, on simplifying this, this can be written as 169 by 100 is equal to x minus 7 by 10 whole square. Now, I am applying square root on both sides. This can be written as x minus 7 by 10 is equal to plus or minus 13 by 10. As it was, square root of 169 is 13, square root of 100 is 10. From this, we can write it as one. x is equal to 7 by 10. That means on transporting this negative 7 by 10 to other hand, it becomes positive. 7 by 10 plus r minus 13 by 10. That means x is equal to 7 by 10 plus 13 by 10 or x is equal to 7 by 10 minus 13 by 10. On simplifying this first one, we get x is equal to 20 by 10 that is nothing but 2 
and here x is equal to minus 6 by 10 you get so that you get x is equal to minus 3 by 5. So these are the rules of this third question. What are the rules of this third question? That is x is equal to or x is equal to minus 3 by 5. Let us see the fourth question. In the fourth question we have given with x square plus 5 is equal to minus 6x. So firstly we have to transport this x term to this side and constant term to other hand of equation. So that we get an equation which is of x square plus y I am writing plus means as it is a second term as a RHS part is a negative term and transporting a negative term to other hand it becomes positive. Then and transporting it has two constant constant term and transporting to other hand of equation so it becomes a negative. Now it can be it is a monic quadratic equation no need to, so it no need to divide it by any other number. So then what we have to do we have to write it in the form of a square plus 2ab plus b square. Why we have selected this one means here second term is positive. So we have to take we have to write it in the form of a square plus 2ab plus b square. So that I am writing x square can be written as x whole square plus this 6 can be factored as a 2 into 3. So I am writing 2 and x of 3 is equal to minus 5. Now if you observe this, it is in the form of a square plus 2ab where a is equal to x, b is equal to 3. So to make a square plus 2ab as a perfect square, we should add b square. So here also to make this as a perfect square, we have to add b square. b square in the sense, here we should add 3 square on both sides. So x square plus 2x of 3 plus 3 square is equal to minus 5 plus 3 square. Now, if you observe this LHS, this LHS can be written as x plus 3 whole square is equal to minus 5 plus 9. That means x plus 3 is equal to 4. So, x plus 3 whole square is equal to 4. So, that x plus 3 will get as in plus r minus 2. That is because on applying square root on both sides, you get a square root of 4. x plus 3 will get as in square root of 4 means that is plus r minus 2. From this, we can write, we can write x is equal to minus 3 plus r minus 2. That means x is equal to minus 3 plus 2 and x is equal to minus 3 minus 2. From this, we get x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to minus 5. These are the rules of this quadratic equation. Thank you friends for watching this video.